All righty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your late, out of date, raw review. Um, so last week we had a great show, Doug. Title match, blood. Vince McMahon, we had some good promos, and this week, it was gay, it was fucking gay, um, but you know, uh, very fucking gay, it was boring, fucking lame, fuck, I know it was booked in advance, there months, 20 years in advance, or whatever, but fuck, man, <laughs> Great show, then you go with the fucking complete bullshit. Boring, boring, fuck. It was the Slammies, it's the Christmas show, you don't expect much or <laughs> what. Still fucking suck. I'll talk about the matches first, then we can talk about the Slammies. We had Stephanie McMahon and Roman Reigns. Um, Stephanie was very upset at uh, Roman Reigns. She was telling him to get out of the ring. And, um, you know, very, very, very bad acting by Stephanie McMahon. Very over the top, cheesy, overacting, bad acting. And the award for worse acting, Stephanie McMahon, okay? This opening segment was garbage. I understand they're doing a segment where Reigns doesn't have to talk. All he did was smile pretty much and suck up to the crowd two, three times there with minimal talking. I get it, but segments still suck fucking dick. And Stephanie was bad, very bad. Um, the first match, Kane defeated Bray Wyatt by DQ, and it lasted about a minute and a half. The Wyatts attacked Kane. The Dudleys came out, and this led to a tag team match. In the second match, the Wyatts defeated the Dudleys, uh, Tommy Dreamer, and Kane. Um... I thought they were going to start a new feud. They were hinting at a new feud. What's next for the Wyatt? Fuck all. There's nothing next. Nothing new. It's the same fucking shit. They just replaced Rhino with Kane. Take out a, a fat, boring motherfucker. Replace him with another fat, boring motherfucker. That's all they did there. Um... So yeah, this match didn't last that long. It was rushed. It was throwaway crap. It was boring. Third match, Kevin Owens defeated Dolph Ziggler. And this was good enough. It was short. Very short, but it was good enough, I guess. Fourth match, Alberto Del Rio defeated Jack Swagger. And again, this felt short rushed, throwaway-ish, or whatever, um, you know, they, they, what they should have done is just take all the slammies, cram him together in, like, 30 minutes, and just do the other two and something hours of wrestling there, this whole slammy, then a two-minute match, and then another slammy, <laughs> Another two-minute match, it was just cheap. It felt fucking cheap, and Alberto against Swagger felt cheap as well. It was okay, but just a quick throwaway match. Fifth match, the Usos defeated the New Day. Nobody gave a flying fuck there. They have a match on SmackDown. Nobody gives a flying fuck. I don't even know if they're going to air it in Canada, the Super SmackDown. Not even gonna fucking watch it anyways. Super my fucking ass. Super fucking gay! Um, sixth match, Rusev defeated Neville. 
more pointless throwaway fucking crap right there you know it's it's not like neville has a chance there seventh match becky lynch defeated brie bella it's the same shit it's all matches that aren't terrible it's not like they're the worst matches of all time but it's like two minute matches that don't fucking matter in between crappy awards it's not good it's not exciting it's not <laughs> good wrestling it's late it's fucking late eight match in the main event dean ambrose defeated sheamus in the cage match this was okay there um okay match it's a bit of a dumb ending they're both on the cage sheamus is headbutting him why don't you just jump off or whatever? <laughs> you don't just stay there five feet off the ground punching each other. You jump off for fuck's sakes. Get your two feet on the floor for the victory. Which is, you know, what would make sense there. But whatever. Match was okay. So this match, the Owens match was okay. So basically you had four minutes of, of decent wrestling. And at the end of the show, Stephanie McMahon beat up an announcer. I don't remember which one. It was funny, I guess. She started slapping the shit out of him. Couple of mafioso kicks or whatever when the guy was down there. Overall, the wrestling was just... Just that throwaway crap that you'd see on Superstars. It's a three-minute match you don't care about. Most of it was rematches. Alberto against Swagger. That's They've wrestled about 600 times so far there. So now Let's get to the fucking awards there. Um, the rock won in the ward i think it was this is awesome i didn't write it down there i think it was the rock and ronda Rousey, but nobody was there to get the award of course um breakout star of the year um this was presented by dolph ziggler and neville won the breakout star of the year <coughs> What the fuck is that? Why would Neville win Breakout Star of the Year? What the fuck has Neville done? That shitty match against that boring superhero there? That fucking crappy ass show there? I watched it a few times. It's fucking boring. Didn't watch it afterwards. Arrow or whatever. His shitty match with Arrow is that the big thing that's the breakout star bullshit bull fucking shit that was garbage if the fans really chose that there then it, it, it was cheap they had kevin owens come out and complain about it he got into a little brawl with dolph ziggler <laughs> um if they have Owens come out complaining, you know, that's probably because they felt that that Neville didn't deserve it. You know, Owens did a lot more than Neville. Uh, Charlotte was a part of this for Breakout Star. I would have accepted Charlotte ahead of Neville. You know what I mean? She won the belt and shit and... Uh, she did more than Neville did anyway. Had better matches than him. The LOL moment of the year presented by Santino. Santino was there to be funny, but he wasn't. Um, and our truth won the LOL moment. This is when they, they were promoting a match our truth came out to cut a promo about the match but he wasn't involved in the match he made a mistake and talked about the match and it was a joke kind of deal there i don't even feel like explaining it there fuck it 
Our troop won the LOL moment of the year for something that was a bit funny, but uh, it didn't feel like that, <laughs> like it deserves an award for funniest moment of the year, but whatever. The oh my god moment of the year that was presented by Heyman. It went to Kalisto for his uh, some young guy there move that he did there the flip through the ladder or whatever um, this shit happened like two days ago <laughs> they give the award for that Fucking shit. nothing else that happened in the year there they give this award to Rey Mysterio Jr. there do, do the fans have really that that fucking small of a memory there they can't think of anything else that was better than that it happens two days ago that's all they remember mysterio jr wins yeah, okay it was a nice move but that's not like a oh my god moment of the year it was a a fucking holy shit move it was a good move but for the whole year, that's all they have. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck right off, you bastards. Um, Superstar of the year, Seth Rollins. Um, I was very surprised that Roman Reigns didn't win. Not that he deserved to win, but... Would the fans... If this was voted by the fans, would the fans truly vote for Seth Rollins, you know? I have a hard time believing that the fans actually voted for that there, but whatever. Um, he had the belt for a long time, whatever. Um, the Hero in All of Us Award by Coca-Cola went to John Cena. So big John Cena won the award there. He wasn't there to get his award. Um, they're still shoving his charity down our throat there. He the charity. Um, fuck too bad I don't have much time. I only have 15 minutes, like two minutes to go. Um, the surprise return of the year presented by Bo Dallas went to Sting. Um, I got no problem with that, I guess, especially when there's nobody coming back. <laughs> no special returns there. Um, and Sting wasn't there to get the award. Diva of the year went to Nikki Bella. Um, lots of people were pissed off. Lots of people hate Nikki Bella. I don't hate Nikki. I think she's hot as fuck. Hot as fuck. And she had the belt for most of the year. So it makes sense there. Um, match of the year went to Undertaker versus Brock. I don't know which one. They had like 10 matches. <laughs> Taker against Brock there. Pick one, motherfucker. So that that was an okay pick, I guess there. But um, nobody was there to receive the awards. This the format is just fucking garbage there. Like I said, the shitty award with lame jokes and boring crap. Santino running away with our truths award there. <laughs> it's uh. It's fucking stupid. They should just do the slammies on the network there. Just do a one hour show on the network for the slammies or something. Uh, you do this on Raw following a, a great Raw. You have a great Raw. You, you do this boring shit. You know, it's counterproductive for fuck's sakes. Counter fucking productive. The show was bad. The show sucked. I didn't expect it to be good, but I expected it to be better, for fuck's sakes. Until next time, peace. Might do a live show on my second channel there. Second channel, link's in the fucking description. Until next time, peace.